Hey guys! Um, so I'm doing a review of NYX Tinted Lip Spas or NYX Tinted Lip Spa. I have three. I have Vintage, Orange Passion, and Juicy. Vintage is the one I've used the most. I like to keep it in my purse. It's um, these are lip balms, but they also have a lot of they're also fairly pigmented. This is vintage. That's better. It's kind of orangey. It's like kind of corally peachy. That's what it looks like swatched. They're really sheeny. They have they're pretty highly pigmented, especially for lip balms. Um so that's vintage. This is orange passion. Orange passion is the sheer one up top. It's like a sheer coral, a little bit more pink in that one than in vintage. I'm wearing vintage right now on my lips. It's nice. Um, and then juicy, which is red. It's a sheer red. It's the top one. So those are the three I have. I really like these. They come in these little chubby black tubes. I got mine off of Cherry Culture, and they weren't... Oh, crap, I just got them on my tights. Oh, well, those are going in the wash anyway. Um, they... I got them off of Cherry Culture. They're about $3 each or something. I don't know. I can't seem to find anywhere that sells NYX products near me. Just, like, that I can go and pick them up. So I generally order them online. Um... Or if I travel and I find a store that sells next, I'll generally buy them. And, um, I like them. They, so they're like chubby black tubes, and they have a little window at the top, so you can see what color it is, and they say what color it is over here. And they're nice. They're, they are really nice. And I like the sheer color, and they have menthol on them, and they do feel moisturizing. And I can, like, put these on and, like, you know, get my color and get, you know, moisturized lips. But, um, I think the one thing that I dislike about them... I think it's good to know the pros and cons of a prod product, not project, is that you can kind of see it here. It kind of starts to tilt, like, this is my vintage one that I use a lot, and like you can see, it's not, oh, maybe you can't see, it's too light. It's kind of not fastened on the base very well, it's like kind of tilting, like, there, if you can see that crack. There, you can kind of, see, yeah, you can see, like, it's kind of coming off, so, like, it does, oh, no, but I just did, see, the problem with these, oh, crap, is that they're really soft, which, you know, it's nice that they're creamy, but they're so creamy, that they, I mean, I haven't really used the other ones enough to know if it's a problem with those ones, too, maybe it's just a problem with this one, but I read reviews, and it's, a lot of them have said similar things. It's just, it... Oh, crap. I don't have a ton of vintage all over my hand. And also, it, sometimes it comes off on the side of the tube. Because it's tilting like that. You can see it all around there. Blech. So yeah, those are... the. I think, as much as the packaging is nice and it's sleek and it's easy to see what color you're using, it does pose problems. And it's kind of annoying. Maybe I should do that. I wish it was more like. I wish the packaging was a little bit more like this one, which is my Nivea Kiss of Flavor lip balm, which I love to death. Um, oh, sorry, it just smells really good. It smells like cherries, which doesn't seem to have the problem with wobbling, and it's a bit um, more sturdy feeling. And it's pretty similar in color to the uh, Juicy one, which is the red one. But uh, it's a bit more magenta pink rather than kind of more of an orangey pink or red. Um, yeah, I, I do really like these. I think they're really good products. I just think that the packaging could be improved as far as like, or maybe the formulation. I mean, I, I wouldn't like, want them to lose like the moisturizing effect that they have, but... That's, this is a problem, like, 
I really don't want to have to worry about my lip balm snapping. It's like enough to worry about my lipstick doing it. I just replied uselessly. <laughs> I don't worry about my lipstick doing it. And I don't even worry about my lipstick doing it. I've never really had that be a problem unless I've like actually like hit it physically. So I think I'm just a little annoyed by that. Um, and I and I want I feel like if it didn't do that I would love it so much more but I just I look at this and I'm like pretty color but I get so annoyed and like frustrated and and I just I'm like so angry with them well not that angry I sound really really angry just not I'm just disappointed in their inability to find a better packaging solution. Though maybe it hasn't been brought to their attention, but I think there's enough people... I mean, if you read it, it, reviews for this on Makeup Alley, um, they're really positive except for the packaging, which obviously I've shown you has issues. I'm not even sure if it's... Well, I think... My packaging does have some issues in that the lid doesn't sound so well, at least for this one. This one stays on better for some reason. That one clicks. That one does too. Maybe it's just my vintage one. Yeah, see? It doesn't click. Um, cause doesn't see, it's not as tight. Um, anyway. It's kind of rambling. Yeah, so overall, to sum up, summary, these are good products. They do what they're supposed to. They give you a nice color. They give you moisturization. They give you a little bit of sheen. But the formulation, as nice and creamy as it is, does pose a problem due to the way it's packaged and it does kind of tip over. And that is kind of annoying. I find it annoying. Um, and it makes me not want to use it, even though I like the color a lot. Um, so yeah, that's my review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment or ask or whatever. All right. Um, thanks. <laughs> Bye.